Southwest Nets have been celebrating their return to the Limbe Wildlife Center of uh, the four gorillas that were recently, that were illegally smuggled out of Cameroon. The animals arrived in Limbe recently and were accompanied by the Minister of Forestry and Wildlife, Professor Elvis Ngolengole. Emmanuel Ayile reports on the ceremony and on the future of the gorillas. The Taiping four gorillas indeed received a red carpet treatment upon arrival in the Southwest Province. From the Mongo Bridge up to the Limbe Wildlife Center, senior administrative, diplomatic and law enforcement officials described the return of the great apes as a victory for wildlife conservation in Cameroon. It's part and parcel of us as a nation, as a people. And whenever any part of us is taken away uh, without our own consent, the tendency is to wish that it comes back to us. So for sentimental reasons, we're happy that We've got back part of us because we believe in wildlife. And that is why the government's uh, wildlife policy is rooted in the moral conviction that, uh, that uh, wildlife is a complementary species to us. The minister traced the history of the gorillas from the time they were taken out of Cameroon up to their return and thanked the government of Malaysia and South Africa as well as non-governmental organizations involved in the protection of endangered species. For John Council, Lifanda Samuel described Cameroon's fauna as the most unique in the world and in very strong terms condemned illegal trade in endangered species. Some parrots seized by wildlife officials from illegal traders were released into the wild by the Minister of Forestry and Wildlife as a sign of Cameroon's commitment to wildlife protection.